Have you ever experienced a prospect's enthusiasm completely disappear straight after your initial meeting? Well, if you have, in this video, I'm gonna take you through a two-part cheat code that you can use to figure out if a deal is unlikely to even happen. If this is the first time that I'm appearing in your feed, I'm Hannah Ajikawa. I'm a mum, a sales leader turned go-to-market consultant, and I'm on a mission to help improve the relationship between buyers and sellers. And I do that by creating content, speaking on stages, helping B2B tech companies remove clutter inside the go-to-market engine, and just good vibes. So let's get into the content and figure out, is this a real deal? We're gonna go through a two-part cheat code. The first part of this cheat code is really understanding what is the need? What is it that this prospect has explicitly stated to us is the thing that's happening inside their organization? And two, how urgent is it? Now we hear a lot about driving urgency, but this is easier to do when you understand this cheat code. So what I like to call this is the issues, challenges, and opportunity framework. So we're gonna call it ICM. Now I stand for issues. And issues are things inside an organization that a prospect has explained is happening that shows evidence of something being fundamentally broken. So it's something that, that's actually blocking them or slowing them down completely from reaching a desired outcome. So they have goals and objectives inside their organization to grow or to expand or to, to, to increase something or to reduce something. And they found through their investigation that they're unable to do that successfully because there's something missing that's stopping them from achieving that goal. And this is usually when things are on fire. Now, a challenge is a little bit different. A challenge is something that's happening inside the organization and you work out that it's actually an obstacle or a hurdle. So it's not that something's fundamentally broken, it's just there's a bit of friction in how they go about doing something. So something in the process, or maybe there's some inexperienced team members, or maybe the strategy is a little bit wrong, or maybe there's something missing in the tech is a bit slow or something. But there's something there that is creating a hurdle for getting them to their desired outcome. And then the other one is what we call an opportunity. It's the exciting stuff. It's artificial intelligence. It's large language models. It's something that they haven't quite used yet, but they're excited by the idea of what that can help them do in relation to that desired outcome. Now, remember, a desired outcome is goals, objectives, things inside an organization that they're trying to achieve. Now, that's part one. The first thing for us to do inside our interactions with prospects in those initial, inter, in, initial touch points is to say, are they experiencing issues, challenges, or opportunities? Because this takes us to part two of the cheat code. And that is what I like to call the urgency scale, okay? So the urgency scale is how you then start to pinpoint based on whether it's an issue, challenge or opportunity, how likely is it for them to make a decision inside a time frame that is ideally more favorable to you. Now, if you look at urgency and you think about what issues, challenges and opportunities mean, an issue is something that has to be fixed. This is where you see prospects who are coming as inbound leads, they are reaching out to you, they're very responsive, strangely. They say just at the right time because there's something that's on fire and they know they have to solve it, whether it's with you, whether it's with doing something internally or whether it is with another vendor. They're gonna take action. They're highly likely to take action. There's no definite, but I digress. The next thing is a challenge or an opportunity. It's kind of midway through the urgency scale and prospects need much more motivation. They need to be galvanized to take action. And I tell you why, because what happens with challenges is that prospects, they're human and humans are resourceful typically. And we try to find workarounds. And then what happens when you find a workaround is you get used to that workaround. And even though it's a pain in the butt, you still do it because guess what? It kind of works. But every challenge turns into an issue at some point. So your job is to understand what, what the circumstances need to be for that challenge to no longer be sustainable. Now, the other area is an opportunity. Yes, they sound great. And everybody has an AI initiative. Everybody's exploring it doesn't mean they're going to invest in it. And it takes a Herculean effort to get prospects to jump at the opportunity to take to, to, to kind of close in on an opportunity. And that's because it's not that urgent. They can do what they're doing already. It might be slow. It could be broken, 
but they can do what they're doing. So it doesn't really make sense for them to go and down this risky territory where they haven't even figured out any way to solve it or any way or any of the possibilities. So it takes time. And that's why if you are going to be selling to opportunities, you have to really talk about the limited risk, de-risking the opportunity in order to work to make this go from an opportunity to something that's now a challenge. Oh, if we don't adopt AI, then that's going to stop us from doing things faster, easier, quicker. All right. So that is the two part cheat code to help you decipher. Is this the real deal? Right. So really quickly, issues, challenges and opportunities to help you understand the type of need. And then the urgency scale is going to help you plot those needs on the urgency scale to decipher. Is it likely to happen? If not at all, but at least inside a realistic time frame. All right. See you in the next video.